Well, since we last had you on, there's uh, there's a lot that's come out about how the Chinese Communist Party has interfered in Canadian society, especially their connections with the Trudeau family. Uh, and of course, all these accusations are racist, as Justin Trudeau said in response to the allegations. So why do you hate Chinese people, Sam? Well, um, I mean, I, I'm thinking back to our last conversation. And at that time, you asked me, you know, what's really going on with the Trudeau government? Do they seem to be a little bit friendly, um, you know, to to uh, some folks in mainland China, why aren't they acting? And at that time, I was some connecting some dots with you guys and saying, well, the full story isn't in yet, but it's starting to look like something may be a little bit off. But uh, to your question, look, uh, let's be very straight up. I've said it before for Justin Trudeau to say that uh, scrutinizing the interference of the Chinese Communist Party in diaspora communities where these police stations are surveilling people on the on the soil in America, in Canada, New York, Boston, Toronto, Vancouver, for him to say it's racist, look, that is Ministry of State Security propaganda. And uh, we can make a joke about it. it it's ridiculous, but it's, uh, it's profane. It's absurd for Mr. Trudeau and anyone in his party to be picking up MSS talking points because that's harmful to the societies uh, where... Uh, that message is amplified for it to be amplified for a head of state. I'm sorry, that's banana Republic stuff. And so you said, uh, so last time you were kind of connecting some dots about the Trudeau family in China. Uh, what's, what has come out now that you can definitively say? Well, as you know, last uh, November, uh, I, I started to break some stories that uh, really uh, for for people watching uh, the party, watching Beijing, watching their activities in Australia, New Zealand, United States, around the world, look, we, everyone knew they were up to no good. But uh, from what I've heard from people that should know in intelligence communities, uh, my reports were the first time that definitively said uh, agents in a consulate in a democratic country, Canada, Toronto, directly sent clandestine transfers into election interference networks. Uh, my report said the allegations uh, were that Canadian intelligence found 11 favored candidates in the Toronto area alone uh, were part of a network that received funding from the Chinese Communist Party. So this is bombshell stuff. And as you know, it went a lot further. The reports were about uh, MPs that are critical of China being attacked. There's been many more follow reports since my first fund, but where are we? The Trudeau Foundation, that is this family foundation that uh, coagulates around the Trudeau family, allegedly has received in the order of about uh, uh, over 100,000 American U.S. dollars from an entity connected to the Chinese Communist Party. So this is uh, another news organization in Canada followed up on some information I had also been uh, told of that uh, a consulate official reached out to a tycoon and suggested that they get a donation into this Trudeau fo uh, Foundation, which uh, of course is in no way connected to the current prime minister is the claim. Uh, well, uh, that uh, that sort of story has, has there's been a lot of holes have come out in that story uh, in the past few months. Well, so $100,000, I mean, for the Trudeau family, like, that's not that much. It's just, you know, another Maserati. That's another Maserati, or if you're in Vancouver, McLaren is a very popular uh, car for the uh, the Princelings uh, and, and the people that are connected to the party. Uh, that is the Beijing party, but information is surfacing. The Liberal Party as well through donations. But look... Uh, 100,000 apparently was what was ultimately paid by this uh, tycoon with, uh, you know, connections to the United Front and uh, connections to the consulate in Toronto. The promises, uh, as I and others have reported, were, were something in the order of a million dollars would be donated to the Trudeau Family Foundation. And so, again, this is kind of bombshell stuff. Everyone knows, especially in Australia, there are uh, uh, reports that led to deep legislative changes in that country when uh, a senator lost his position. Two tycoons, of course, a real estate uh, co connected uh, individuals with links to China had donated about seven million in Australia. And uh, that scandal uh, turned into some real action 
with with uh, the Trudeau uh, Foundation, this uh, news of the donation was big, but have we seen any action besides sort of uh, nothing to see here from this government? No, we haven't yet. Well, the scandal in Australia, that's, you're talking about Sam Dastyari, right? The senator, the former senator, yes. So in Australia, ma- started making changes to their law. It's been about five years now. What was it that that prompted them politically to be able to make those changes? Well, look, uh, I've reported for the Bureau uh, in my first story that uh, a Canadian intelligence review body explicitly uh, has reported to the Prime Minister about documentation that I got access to where uh, the Privy Council Office, this is the high-level office that advises our Prime Minister and Cabinet on national security matters, they had already reported to our Prime Minister about these legislative changes in Australia that were triggered by, wait for it, one, investigative reporting on leaked intelligence triggered a, a just a new level of uh, outrage and uh, public discourse around Chinese Communist Party interference in Australia. And yet there was a lot of willful blindness in that society that had to be overcome. In fact, again, my first story for the Bureau says that Our Prime Minister Trudeau was told in Australia a lot of criticism that senior politicians, academics, elites were willfully blind to the party's influence uh, for various reasons. And uh, that had to be overcome. And Australia did the right thing, even though China, as you know, is their massive number one trade partner. And they got a foreign agent registry. They got new laws around treason. They got new laws around foreign interference that have teeth. So that if you're working for China under the table in Australia, you could face jail. Uh, In Canada, again, my first report for the Bureau said Mr. Trudeau was advised, you should look at these these types of uh, reforms in Australia. Four years ago, he was told that and nothing has happened. And uh, I believe, guys, that is why uh, whistleblowers came to me last year with the documentation explaining, look, it's being reported up in Canada's government how bad the situation do, uh, is and nothing's happening. Are you alleging that Trudeau is specifically blocking legislation that would stop this kind of Chinese Communist Party interference? It wouldn't be uh, myself alleging it. It would be a whistleblower sources concerned about Canada's national security that are suggesting as my reports have shown for the past six, uh, about six months now, maybe more, uh, uh, that uh, reporting report after report since at least 2017, probably before, has been going up to the highest levels in the Trudeau government that China is seeking to influence, fund, criticize, on the other hand, Canadian politicians and elected officials. It's getting worse and uh, you need to do something, but nothing is happening. So Is that an allegation that Trudeau has been willfully blind, just as some of the people uh, in Australia uh, were criticized of being? Uh, Look, the facts are starting to point this way. I'm ready to go further than our last conversation. The evidence is this government hasn't acted. Inaction uh, equals willful blindness in this case, I believe. 